Now, before Greta Thunberg and Extinction Rebellion, there was another environmental activist making headlines. Yes. Back in the 90s, Dan Hooper, or Swampy, as he was nicknamed by the press, went to extreme lengths to get his voice heard. And now, with the uh, government under more pressure than ever to tackle climate change, Swampy is back. We'll be speaking to him in just a moment, but before we do, let's remind ourselves of his rise to fame. Well, we've given him VIP access to our This Morning Forest today. Hi, Dan. Hello. Hiya. Morning. So, you've been out of the public eye for over 20 years now. Why now? Why, why the return to processing right now? Well, um, it's because uh, climate change is absolutely needs uh, tackling right now. Um, and the government uh, announced this massive road building program. HS2 is happening, all these acts of ecocide. Um, and I just couldn't sit back and uh, watch it happening. Um, well, you... Protest works, basically. Mm -hmm. you, never, uh, you never actually stopped being an activist. You're still involved you know, sort of in, in, in various ways, not quite as publicly mm. obvious. Um, and uh, did, you, did you feel... What, what made you stop? Did you feel that you know, your fame was almost uh, distracting from the message? Not really. That wasn't the reason I stopped. I stopped uh, doing public uh, things and, um, you know, protesting. I changed my name back to Dan from Swampy um, and because it became a little bit embarrassing. But, uh, you know, um, I carried on protesting at that time, just not publicly. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I had kids. So, <laughs> you know, obviously family comes first at Absolutely that point, doesn't that. it? You're, you're off grid, aren't you, in, in Wales, pretty much? Yes, yeah, yeah, we have solar panels. We do um, a lot of our, uh, or try and grow as much veg as we can. Um, you know, we try and live an impact, a low impact lifestyle, um, if we can, you know, as much as possible. So. You, you have a history, uh, Dan, of uh, using tunnels as a means of protesting. Now, you returned to this method back in January. Can you tell me a little bit about the HS2 protest? And were you worried for your own safety at any point? Yeah, well, I, I actually did two tunnel evictions in the last year, and both of them, uh, we, you know, obviously we shored uh, the tunnel we try you know we made it as safe as possible and um, it, you know we, at no point did um, did I feel in any danger whatsoever um, you know we we, we, we we make it safe well you've got you've got a 17 year old son Rory um, and you took him with you as well so uh, I mean that in itself you must have thought it was safe because that is a, that's a bit it's risky a bit. if it's not Yes, I mean, um, you know, Rory wanted to do uh, the tunnel of itch and he, he, uh, he's very into the environmental cause, you know, and, um, you know, that was, an, <laughs> in some ways, that was the main reason I went down was because I wasn't going to let Rory go down by himself oh, at wow. his age. But, um, you know, he's young, you know, and he needs a voice too, you know, because it's, it's their future, isn't it? Um, and, uh, and, People like Extinction Rebellion um, and Greta, who uh, who we mentioned in the in, in introduction, sort of picked up that baton and uh, and, and and flying with it. What about uh, Extinction Rebellion's uh, tactics? Uh, that because that's also as you have done, that is disruptive. Well, yeah, I mean things can be disruptive, but. Um, you know, climate change is going to be very disruptive. You know, the, the, what we do, the, the minor disruption that might happen for an Extinction Rebellion protest is nothing compared um, to uh, what's going to happen with climate change. You know, people's homes are getting flooded, tornadoes, you know. It's only going to get worse, so, you know, really, you know, a minor bit of inconvenience for people sometimes you know, it's nothing compared to what we're trying to actually put a stop to. Um, um, protest works, you know, this is... It, it... 
Yeah. You, you can't, absolutely, you can't get anything done by sitting in your garden absolutely doing nothing, that, can you? Yeah. Um, but, but the Home Office spokesman has said freedom mm. to protest is a fundamental right. Current laws to manage highly disruptive protests are out of date and not fit for purpose. And new measures in the Police Crime Sentencing and Courts Bill is designed to tackle the selfish minority of protesters who are highly disruptive and whose actions endanger the public. And as we said, you know, you can't, you can't protest um, and nothing, you know, nothing be done, nothing happens, so mm. sit in your protest in your quietly sitting, room, sitting on the sofa mm -hmm. um, but does it work because yeah, yeah. so many so many of these things that you, you know that you've so vehemently protested uh, towards have still happened um but the road building program was stopped uh, women now have the vote you know racism homo racism and homophobia are not acceptable anymore you know these things have all happened through protest um, what if someone wants to protest about them privatising the NHS and the government, with these new laws, they get to say what we protest about. Uh, government sanction protest is OK, but if right. we want to if, say we're against something, um, you know, we need to have a voice. This is our voice. All the parties are pretty much the same. No one could really argue that, you know. Um, every, every four to five years we get a vote. In between time, they could do what the hell they want without, without protest. Mm. You know, this is our voice. This is the people's voice. And if, if we only, can only do government-sanctioned protest, that's, not, that's a dictatorship. You know, this law has to stop. We, we can't allow this to go through. Um, you know, they can name people that they don't want to turn up to protest and arrest them if they go to protest. Wow. You could get done for having, uh, you know, they could stop and search a vehicle if they think they've got placards in the back with these laws. So it's illegal to live on a protest site with these laws, you know. We really have to stop this. Um, it's the police crime and sentencing bill, and not enough's been said about this. Point we well really made, need yeah. to stop Dan. This. Thank you, Absolutely. as always. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us today. Thank you. Um, and, uh, and look after our forest, please. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.